Hey guys, I just got the head back on. Uh, I figured I'd do a quick video on going over timing in M30. Uh, not too much info out there from what I've seen on YouTube at least. We'll do a quick short video on it. Um, first things first, you're going to find your timing marker on the balancer down here. Um, try and get that in there to see, but there's like an O and kind of a T mark in there. And then there's a slot right in the middle. Might wear out over time. I have mine marked with a Sharpie marker right there. And you'll see the line right here on the timing cover. Um, when all of that lines up, means your bottom end's in time. What you'll want to do after that is you're going to check your cam. Um, obviously, I have this off. You're going to check the cam gear. Basically, there's a slot right here for the dowel. You can see right here on the cam gear, we got the dowel. That is supposed to be at 7 o'clock. When that is at 7 o'clock, you know you're in time with the bottom end and the top end all together. Um, so if you're coming off, you'd want to get that lined up, make sure this matches up, and then just start taking cam gear bolts out, loosen them up a bit, and then uh, take the tensioner out, which is around the side here. I believe it's a 19 mil. Obviously, it's out on mine, but uh, I'll do a quick video on going back together. I also do a little bit of blue Loctite here on the cam gear bolts. Um, probably not necessary, but it could be a little safe than sorry. I'm from New York, the East Coast, where we trust nobody. So, <laughs> that's my reasoning on that. There we go. Let's see if we get a little video of it. Also, you're always going to want the slack on the chain to be towards the tensioner side. You want this side to be tight. Leave the slack there on that side. This way the tensioner will push it up, take the slack out. You don't want the slack on that side. Let's see if we get it lined up. Oh, so right there I'm off a little bit, so I'll kind of just move the chain slightly down a link and keep moving across into whichever direction I got to go oh we're close Figures it'll fight me while I'm recording, but uh. Right there it goes. Right there, you could kind of hurt it snap in right there. And then, as you can see, all the bolt holes will line up. Kind of just pushes on to that back side just a little bit. And uh, we'll start those bolts and then that's it. There, I got them started. Uh, I don't want to bore you guys with just me tightening down four bolts here. But once you got those guys snug, uh, throw that tensioner back in there and then double check. Turn it over a few times, make sure everything's spinning, everything is looking good, nothing binds up. And triple check your work, make sure that lines up down there, along with that being about that roughly seven o'clock position on that dowel. Otherwise, that's it. Pretty simple for an M30. All right, here's the final look over. 
all put back together. Uh, we got the tensioner back in there. Um, once again, like I said, dowel about seven o'clock. Everything lines up on the bottom. Um, the bottom mark there, it can be lined up on that timing cover mark. And the dowel could be up over here, which would mean you're 180 out. So the most important thing of it is just to make sure that dowel's at the seven o'clock position. Um, I also just being, I just reassembled it. I put a little bit of like Lucas oil additive, a little bit of oil up on the cam on the head while I turn it over just so it ain't completely dry. Uh, not a bad thing when you're doing a new build just to do for good habit. But otherwise that's it. Alrighty. Hopefully back to life with the rest of it soon here.